Uh, what are the, what's the probability that the government wants to frame the Tate brothers? I don't know, probably 50%. I think it's pretty high. Like, government, the government frames people all the time. Like, if we've seen anything out of, like, any of the leaks from, uh, you know, the way that they tried to, uh, you know, fuck with Martin Luther King and people like that, yeah. Absolutely the government fucks with people. Like, how are you going to compare Andrew Tate to MLK? Like, what, no matter your opinion on Asmongold or the Tate brothers, or if you're left or right, like, everyone just has to come together on this one issue and agree that this <laughs> is, like, one of the dumbest comparisons ever. This is like when Justin Bieber was talking about Anne Frank and said, oh, I think Anne Frank would have been a believer. Like, you can kind of see the logic behind it, but, like, <laughs> it's still so incredibly dumb. And this is also just a side thing, I thought. If they have trouble getting out of jail, this is why exactly why we need Trump back in office, so he can pardon them. How many people are going to be sitting there rotting, thinking that Donald Trump is going to pardon them? Like, the whole, like, instruction kind of proves that he doesn't care about you. Like, he said he was going to pardon so many people, and then didn't. <laughs> like, you've got to stop breaking laws and then hoping that Trump is going to come there and bail you out. If I get proof... That he has my voice line for a sub? I'm literally sending that clip to my lawyer, and I'm just going to be real. No, you're not, because Penta has been using your voice for like three years as a sub donation. And like, I used to watch Changang years ago, and it's so sad to see how far they've fallen. Like, they cry about everything now. So like, this guy is upset, shots, he's upset that Penta uses people's voice clips as sub donations and what Penta does is when someone gets upset or mad at him he just takes that voice clip and uses that as a sub donation so he's threatening to sue Penta for doing that so what Penta did in response was he took this clip saying I'm going to sue you and used it as a sub donation it didn't work out well for Ninja when he threatened to sue Pokimane you think people would have learned from that and I'm under the impression confidently that in the top 100 at least 90 out of 100 are 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 not only blatantly view botting, but we're talking massively view botting because you can't tell at that point, right? Now, talk about projection. <laughs> like the guy whose viewers would drop by 20,000 down to 10,000 as soon as he stopped gambling, accusing other people of view botting. And like, maybe people just really loved watching gambling, but it doesn't help that stake.com sponsored a streamer who's never streamed before and their first stream ever got 20,000 people to watch and zero people typing in chat. So I guess it makes sense that he thinks that no one can actually hit 30,000 viewers without view botting because he couldn't and he needed stake to view bot for him. This little girl could beat you to a pulp. I don't know. I'm not confident in my skills, but I feel like I could beat up a little girl, no problem. But imagine this girl uh, shows up at creator clash uh, like fights xqc or something oh well, like i guess you could actually fight someone like maya because they're like the same size so she's literally been sitting there for like three minutes waiting for this douchebag to get his cup You said that already. I don't. What do you want? Take the fucking cup. That's what she's telling you to do. What you mean? You acting like you're retarded. I'm retarded. I guess so. Am I getting a paycheck for KFC? Where's my paycheck? You want to get beat the fuck up? Let's do it. Like I don't know how he thinks this makes him look good. Like there's so many TikTokers that like just do their routes and it's like so wholesome and they buy like homeless people food and all this. And then there's this douchebag who won't even fill up the cup for the customer. And like, just like, this is pretty common occurrence. Like if you do delivery, sometimes the store will get you to fill up the cup so that the ice doesn't melt before it gets to the customer because they don't know how long you're going to be before you pick up their food. And this is why you'll never convince me cats are anywhere close to dogs. Like this is obviously staged, but you couldn't even teach like a cat to do a staged video like this. 